Mrs. Crawford was my kindergarten teacher. She'd been teaching a long time. I remember a lot of playing, cubbies, and especially napping on mats. I only went for the afternoon. Mrs. Gomeski, my first grade teacher, was grandma-like. I learned my ABCs. Back then we did not learn to read in kindergarten, but rather first grade. Mrs. Nicodemus was my second grade teacher. She was new to our school, coming from another school. I should mention, too, that our school was only two years old. Later, I wondered if she was related to Nicodemus Oil Company. Mrs. Godsey was my third grade teacher. I was so happy. She was really old-fashioned. Mrs. Godsey loved to travel in the summer. She had one daughter a year older than me. Mrs. Godsey read us all the Laura Ingle Wilder books. I fell in love with Laura. We put on a play for our parents about the West. When I was in third grade, my sister got sick in the first grade and had to go home. Her teacher was Miss Fenton. In fourth grade, I had Mrs. Withy. She was an older teacher. She taught us about magical places in the mountains, such as in Sweden and Switzerland. We watched movies about these beautiful places. My fifth grade teacher was my idol. Her name was Mrs. Eckloff. Her husband was the principal of the junior high school. In fifth grade, we studied Hawaii. We even put on a Hawaiian musical. I remember telling my friends to impress them that my uncle was a doctor and he made $30,000. I'm so thankful that in later years I got to tell Mrs. Eckloff how much I admire her. In junior high school, we went to another school. It was so far away we had to go by car. This was my first experience with switching classes all day. Miss Gay, the choir teacher, sticks out in my mind. I also liked Mr. Day because he was young and hip. I had never had class in a lab before, nor had I ever had a class in a kitchen or a sewing room before. Too bad those home ec classes were taken away. Today's kids really could use them. I did not like 8th grade. A rounds class was typing. The teacher liked looking at the girls in the short skirts too much and it bothered me. But back then nothing much was done about it. Ninth grade was the big year. The spring formal 9A was held at the end. It was awesome. Color My World and Stairway to Heaven were the popular songs. Next was Arthur Hill High School. It was a top-notch Class A school back then with an undefeated, unscored-upon football team. My cousin was a cheerleader and also the homecoming queen. In 10th grade, I studied French. I had Misty Ford. She took us to Montreal. What a great experience. I met new friends that year and also got my driver's license. All I remember from 12th grade is pep club and graduation. It seems like I was always switching friends. Why do girls have to have so much drama? I do remember Misty Ford taking us to Central Michigan University to the Foreign Language Day. It planted the seed for me wanting to go there for college. 